My name is Phil Woodford and I'm looking forward to um, the talk that we're giving here in June on um, the history of advertising and how it influences the future. Uh, I've worked in the advertising industry for a great many years, so I suppose I've become part of its history, uh, but I also hope to be part of its future. And um, I do work for the Chartered Institute of Marketing and run a lot of training courses for marketers um, as well as offering freelance creative services to uh, businesses and agencies. Of all the many brands in the museum, and there are, you know, there are so many, the, the museum has such a rich collection, but of all the brands that are celebrated here, Guinness is one of my favourites from an advertising perspective. And I think back, right back to the past, in the 1930s when they needed to promote Guinness, a strange Irish stout drink in the UK that people didn't know. We have the campaign Guinness is good for you, Guinness for strength, which has been long recognised as a, as, a, as a classic advertising campaign. And we can trace the history over many decades. And uh, in more modern times, my favourite campaign, probably good things come to those who wait. And the final celebration of that idea in one of the most expensive TV commercials of all time by AMV BBDO, um, shot in Argentina over six weeks, domino toppling and a uh, really spectacular ad, very memorable uh, and um, a great tribute to a fantastic brand.